this is George Mazel, Super Magnet Man again. Got a new video for you on the magnet that breaks its own fall. I've had a lot of comments over the years on this video, and people are interested in seeing how this works with a copper plate. What I've got to give you a comparison with is I've got my aluminum plate up here first. Now, if you remember the previous videos, we were dropping a magnet against the this. What I've got this time, though, is I have put together four six inch by four inch by half inch thick plate magnets. This magnet is extremely powerful. It is N45 six by four by two. And we're gonna see how this does when we drop it on the aluminum plate and watch how it goes. Try and get just the right drop with it. you to get a good feel for how this is doing. Now I'm going to add a one inch thick copper plate and let's see how it does with the copper plate. This is the aluminum and I'll slide it over to this side and leave room for the copper right here. This is a one inch thick slab of solid copper. Now, let's watch the difference in how copper does and how aluminum does. As you can see, this hits and bounces back up. You can see the shake in the table as this copper breaks it huge difference in how well the copper does and how well the aluminum does in helping this magnet break its own fall. Thought you might want to watch this and see just how powerful this magnet is. Now to give us an idea of how strong this magnet is, I've got my gauss meter we're going to be taking a look at this and seeing what the Gauss readings are as we go through this. When I look at this magnet, on the surface, in the center, we're measuring 3,880 Gauss. When I get to this corner, it's measuring 5,100 Gauss. In this corner, we're measuring about 5,000 Gauss. In this corner, we're measuring 4,820 and in this corner, we're measuring 5,049.90. So, we, again, we have a center at around 38.80 Gauss. Now let's see how fast this magnetic field drops off with this magnet. These are little styrofoam blocks that I use to, as spacers. Each two of them is just a tad over one and a half inches. So with this, I can measure the strength here and we'll see that it's down to 1,840. So it's dropped from 3,800 to 1,840 in just one and a half inches. We take the next two, this gets us about 3.1 inches above the surface of the magnet, and you'll see that it's now down to 798 to 800 gauss, just somewhere across the surface in the center. We'll go down to the next step at four and a half inches, a little over four and a half inches, probably four and five eighths, and now, trying to keep that just the right distance so that it doesn't get pulled into the magnet, we're down to 386 gauss. And when I put the last two on, this takes us down to 209, 210 gauss. So you're talking 200 gauss, six, about 6.25 inches above the surface of the magnet. That is an enormously powerful magnetic field. One of the other things that we use this for is showing how this can slide the plate, and it's about to turn my table over. This illustrates the breaking effect if you're using it in a rotational format. One of the things that you'd want to do if you're interested in this is look at what the North American Eagle, that is the North American Eagle Project, 
It's a special race car that's designed to run with about 15,000 pound jet car and it, they've been trying for several years to break the world land speed record at Monteville Salt Flats. With that car traveling at over 700 miles an hour, these, this exact concept is one of the tools they use in stopping it. Now they use other tools in addition to a parachute and a, a braking system, but in their last test where they were doing, over, doing a little over 700 miles an hour, and about the 600 mile an hour mark, their other system did not work. The magnetic braking system alone brought the car from the 15,000 pound car at that speed all the way to zero in about a mile and a half, a little over a mile, about 1.25 miles. You can look at this on their website, which I've got below, and check out the stats that they've got. I think that's an amazing testimony for how this technology of using magnets and copper or magnets and aluminum can be applied to create non-contact fric uh, frictionless braking systems which can do an enormous job towards cutting down the cost of actually stopping cars and other kinds of vehicles. They also use this technique on roller coasters and a few other things are beginning to get, a, get wind of how well this works. So just wanted you to see how this does. This is with copper, this is with aluminum, and we hope you'll be back. I should be coming out with some more videos in the near future.